life to Jesus Christ, folks. Death is certain, hell is real, and only the blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse you of your sins. There's no Catholic church or Catholic priest or Protestant church or Protestant worship song or prayer. It's only the blood of Jesus that cleanses you of your sins, folks. The Bible says that the wages of our sin is death, and the soul that sins shall die, and every single one of us is guilty before God, and every single one of us is going to die and stand before the true and living God and give an account for every idle word and deed, folks. How will you escape the wrath of God that abides upon the sons and daughters of disobedience? How will you escape the wrath of God that abides upon the fornicators, adulterers, drunkards, liars, and thieves? You got to be washed, folks. You got to be cleansed. You got to be justified by the Spirit of God, cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's your only hope, folks. The Bible says, unless you are born again, you will not enter the kingdom of God. You got to be born again. You got to be born again, young man. God bless you with repentance. Seek Jesus. He's your only hope. The Bible says that God is not willing that any of us should perish and go to hell, but that every single one of us should come to repentance, folks. Repentance towards God and faith in His Son, Jesus Christ. The faith in Jesus Christ that He died on the cross for your sins, for your, your filthy homosexuality. God can deliver you. I have a young man that I disciple who was delivered from the power of homosexuality. You can be delivered today. I myself was delivered from the power of sexual morality. The power of the blood of Jesus Christ is to set us free from the power of sin and death, folks. You don't have to die in your sin, but if Jesus Christ said, if you do not believe that he is the Son of God, you will die and go to hell, folks. You need to repent. It's not a message of condemnation. You're condemned already because of your sin. You are condemned because of your sin. This is a message of reconciliation, that you would be reconciled to God, be reconciled to God from your drunkenness, your pot smoking, your homosexuality, your lying, your stealing, folks. You need to be cleansed. You need to be redeemed. You need to be reconciled to God. You guys can be redeemed. You know that? God can set you free from that, from the lust of your heart. It's a filthy, it's a filthy heart. Yes, he did die for you, but you reject the blessing. Jesus died for everyone, not just you. That's right. Jesus died for everyone, but not everyone's going to go to heaven, are they? Jesus says most people are going to go to hell because they reject the true mercies of God. Yeah, but you reject his mercy. You reject his mercy. You continue on in your sin. God did not make you gay, sir. No, he didn't. God made you a man. He made you a man that you would find a godly woman who would be your wife and that you would have children. You are deceived if you think God made you perverted. It is a perversion. You don't understand about Jesus. If you think... If you think that you can continue in homosexuality and say that you know God, you're deceived. You're deceived, man. You're deceived. You're deceived. The Bible says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? It says, do not be deceived. It sees neither drunkard, nor homosexual, nor reviler has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. You need to repent, man. It says, nor... nor more sexually immoral. I, I repented seven years ago. God delivered me from the sexual immorality that ruled me. I was ruled over by sexual immorality, and I've been set free from that. You can be set free, man. You can be set free. No. I see the fruit of the spirit. One of the fruits of the spirit is self-control, man. One of the fruits of the spirit is self-control. I have self-control now. God has delivered me from the power of sin and death. You can be delivered. You can be delivered, man. You do not have to die in your sin. You do not have to die in your sin. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And do you not believe that He's all-powerful? Do you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and came back to life three days later? Was Jesus resurrected? Was He resurrected? Come talk to me, man. Come talk to me. Hey, I'll put it down. Come talk to me. I'll put the mic down. All right, man, you need to be set free from your homosexuality. 
You need to be set free from your idolatry. You need to be set free from your sexual morality, your potty mouth, your lying, your bitterness, your unforgiveness. Folks, all these things you can be set free from today by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Son of the living God, folks, who was and is and is to come. Jesus Christ is coming back, and he's coming back to judge the world in righteousness, folks. He's not coming back as a, as a, as a little baby Jesus or a, a little lamb. He's coming back as a conquering king, folks. It says that he's coming back in a flame of fire taking vengeance on all those who do not go, know God and do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, folks. Entrega tu vida a Jesus Christ, Senhora. Who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, folks. Repent today. Call upon God to deliver you. The Bible says that God is faithful to all who call upon him. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, folks. You can be set free. You can be set free from your pride. You can be set free from all the unforgiveness, the bitterness, the hatred, the murder that's in your heart. You can be set free, folks. You can be set free from your unbelief, folks, by Jesus Christ. Call upon him today. Don't die in your sin and go to hell. You don't have to die and go to hell, folks. You don't have to be afraid of death anymore. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 2 that Jesus Christ has delivered us from the one who has power over death, that we are no longer afraid to die because we have been delivered into the hands of God, the merciful God. The Bible says that we have been conveyed into the kingdom of the Son of God's love and that we have been reconciled through his blood. Folks, it is the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood atonement that pays for our sins because the wages of sin is death. And God does not want you to die and go to hell. Do you understand? But if you continue in willful sin, the Bible says there remains no more sacrifice for your sin. But the fearful expectation of hell awaits those who continue in their sin. Folks, you don't have to do it. And if you're telling yourself you cannot repent, that there's no way you can be delivered from your sin, have faith in Jesus Christ, folks. I can do all things in Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Jesus Christ and strengthen you through the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that the fruits of the Spirit are love and joy and peace and goodness and self-control man you can have self-control i used to have very little self-control i had raging fits of anger where i would put punch holes in the wall and rip the doors off the hinges and scream out of control and rage but god has delivered me from that god has given me peace i'm not here to boast to myself i'm boasting in jesus christ and the power of jesus christ his holy spirit and the peace that it gives us through our faith in him, folks. Through our faith in Jesus Christ. A lot of people are, are believing the false doctrine. They're believing their Jehovah Witness Watchtower and Tract Society. They're believing their Catholic Church and their Catholic Pope or their, their Mormonism. Folks, there's a lot of empty religions out there that have no power over the indulgences of the flesh, folks. You need the Holy Spirit that will give you the power over your sin, over your mind, over your flesh. The love, the joy, the peace, the goodness, the self-control that God gives through His Spirit, folks. Seek Him today. Don't lie to yourself and tell yourself everything is going to be okay. Everything is not going to be okay if you die in your sin, folks. Don't lie to yourself and tell yourself you're a good person. The Bible says there are none good, no, not even one. There is one single, sinless Lamb of God, one man who walked this earth, says that he was that God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, ascended on high. His name is Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of God. Believe it, folks. He died on the cross. He was raised back to life by his own power, the power of eternal life. And he ascended on high. Believe it and be saved, folks. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. There is no hope in the Pope, no hope in Muhammad, no hope in your Buddhism, no hope in your atheism. 
No hope in your religious system, going to church on Sunday, doing your little chicken dance and telling yourself that you're a good person or that you've been redeemed now. It's only Jesus Christ. Actually, Jesus Christ says in John chapter 14, verse 6, he said, he is the only way. Jesus says there is no other way to heaven. There's no other way to God the Father except through him. He said this, that I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no one comes to God the Father except through him. Folks, it's not, a, it's not a matter of me disrespecting your religious system. It's a warning. The Bible says that love warns. I'm loving my neighbor as myself. I am warning you that your religious system will not justify you on judgment day. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse you of your sins. Going to your Catholic church on, on, and taking mass and communion does not take away your sins. Mary is not the co-redeemer. Mary does not listen to your prayers. The Bible says there is one mediator between man and God. This is the word of God. People say they believe Jesus is the son of God. They believe in the Bible. Well, here's what the Bible says. The Bible says there is only one person that mediates between man and God, and that is the man Christ Jesus. There's no other person that mediates for you. When you're praying to St. Paul or St. Mary or, or St. whoever, they are not hearing your prayers, folks. We enter in boldly into the Holy of Holies with the blood of Jesus Christ. He is the door, the scripture says, that we enter in. We pass from death to life. We enter in to green pastures, Jesus says. He is the, the good shepherd who shepherds his flock. We know his voice. Do you know the voice of God? Do you know the voice of God's Son? Do you know the voice of Jesus of Nazareth? Is he guiding you today? I tell you, a lot of people believe that they're right with God because they go to church, but God is not leading you to have sex outside of marriage. God is not leading you to get drunk. God is not leading you to fornicate, to adulterate, to, to, to walk in sin, to lie, to steal. God is not leading you to think evil thoughts about your neighbors and have bitterness and lie and cheat and steal these things are not from above folks so who are you truly serving today examine yourself who are you truly serving today those who say that they are christians or those who claim to be good know this that jesus christ said only god is good only god is good we are not good we have all sinned folks but god in his love and mercy has sent his son jesus christ for us what are you doing with the gospel of Jesus Christ today, folks? What are you doing with the patience and the love and the mercy of God today found only through Jesus Christ? The Bible says, don't you know that the goodness of God, the long-suffering, the patience of God leads us to salvation? Folks, cry out to God today to change you. Ask God to change you. God can change you. The Bible says in Ezekiel 36 that God gives us a new heart. He has a new heart to give you today, sir. God wants to give you a new heart. He wants to give you. He, it's hard, sir. I suspect that it could be hard. Is your, is your heart hardened by sin? The Bible says that sin hardens our heart. Okay, thank you. That's why when people are confronted about the things they do wrong in their pride, they harden their heart and they deny it. They blame someone else. I used to do this. I would blame my wife for my problems. I blamed other people for my problems. But the problem was me. The problem is us, folks. It's the inside. We can, we can make ourselves look pretty on the outside and smile for the camera and take our pictures for Facebook that we're at the beach and make ourselves look all pretty and jesus says we're like a a, a coffin a beautiful co wooden coffin that's all shiny and pretty it's all beautiful on the outside but on the inside it's dead men's bones folks are you dead on the inside if you're living in your sin if you're walking in sin today folks you are dead in your sin today you need Jesus to deliver you. Please consider these words. I'm not trying to condemn you or judge you. I'm telling you the judgments of God. 
that the Bible says that the, that the righteous judgment of God abides upon the sons and daughters of disobedience, sinners, that we're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. We're not saved in our church attendance. We're not justified by our, our good works. The Bible says our good works are like filthy rags to God. They're filthy, filthy rags that you need the blood of Jesus Christ, folks. He's your only hope. He's your only hope, folks. What are you doing with this gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, that you can be set free, you can be reconciled to God today? Repent and believe the gospel, folks.